Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy Ventura, with me is Gorilla Metzo, and welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. Hello everyone, we are on the eve of All Hallows Eve, and we are not doing anything <laughs> themed for the JFW tonight, because we didn't think about it. But we still have a hell of a show in store, including a surprise main event tonight. Do not know what that booking is going to be, but it looks like Scaramezzo is making his way out to open this show. And I got to believe that those two things are connected. Let's get to ringside and hear what Scurro has to say. Probably planning to answer Tony Plays Poorly's. Uh, 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 call for the shit wrestlers to come back into the fold. Let's see if these two titans of the wrestling world can see eye to eye and will shit and the JFW be able to move forward into a glorious wrestling future. Let's hope so. It will be difficult, however, to see eye to eye due to Skuro being a foot shorter. <laughs> you dickhead. All right, there he is. The legend himself came up a little bit uh, short on Sunday. <laughs> Fuck you, Jim. <laughs> but he's grabbing the mic, and let's get to ringside and hear what he has to say. Tony plays poorly. I heard your words Monday night, and I got one answer for you and one answer only. You think you can call us all back to the fold because I know you want our titles. Well, guess what, my friend? I am here to deal, and I want to have a chat about the future of professional wrestling and where shit can play a part in it. It's no secret that you won that main event match with your team, JFW, and congrats to you for doing so. Well, we got all your titles, and look, I know you don't want to vacate them. I know you don't want us hiding in the back or dumping them in the trash. And frankly, I don't want to do that either because those titles are meaningless if we're not competing and defending. So, Tony, to you, I say yes. The shit universe will come back to the jfw we'll bring our titles but you gotta do me one favor sir you see you came out and made ardvac have to defend his title he was coming out he was gonna be there to do so but if you want to buy us in again if you want to show that faith that we can come and participate, then, sir, you got to put your title on the line tonight in the main event against the shithead. And before you ask, no, it's not going to be me. It's going to be the shithead who has earned that role, the shithead who lasted longer than any other shitheads in the fight for power on Sunday night. I'm putting Descotti in the ring, and I want him facing you for your World Heavyweight Championship. Will you bring yourself out and put that title on the line tonight in the main event? I hope so. Well, Gorilla, that was something, wasn't it? I mean, I don't think... I don't think Tony plays poorly as back down from any challenge in his life. Uh, he only gives up sometimes. So I'm sure, I'm sure he'll accept that challenge. <laughs> I think he might, and that would be a hell of a main event. A World Heavyweight Championship match. That might be the first time ever that title's been defended in the main event of Stan Firm. Don't quote me on that. Should be pretty epic. We'll find out if it's going down later tonight. And next up, we've got... The debuting firstborn versus Cocky, and he's got his Sheila in his corner. Tell us a bit about firstborn, Jimmy. Yeah, firstborn, he is. Uh, he streams a little bit, and uh, you know, he streams with Blood Bowl on the side. That's why he's got Eat Sleep Blood Bowl repeat. Um, he is like a Canadian Mountie, so he's uh, he's like the JFW Mountie, if you like. And uh, I completely forget who trained him but it's uh, right. somebody who wrestles. 
Should be a great debut, but watch your nuts. Cocky's on the other side. He ain't no slouch. Is he in for a little bit of cock torture? We're about to find out, and I gotta let a dog out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he has got the big buzz man entrance because he's a mountie. <laughs> Hello, Saturday Todd. <laughs> oh, Tom <Thomas>, this. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Oh, I don't know if you just heard me eat it there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Are you okay? <all good? laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I just fucking. Stepped on a dog toy and totally fucking hit the floor. Oh man, that really hurt. I went face down, like cut like cartoon style, face down. Oh my! <laughs> Ooh. <He is> cocky. <laughs> All right, well. Look at Cocky's new entrance. He points at his gut. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> And his remarkably small biceps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It would make more sense if he kept going down to his cock, though. It would, yeah. Yeah. I might, I might recommend we go back to the Mr. Perfect music for him, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can keep the... It would be just more, like, more annoying, I think. Yeah, 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 I just, I just, he just wanted a different entrance, so I did a different entrance. Didn't think yeah, fair enough. Music. That's a shame, because I really like the gum spit. Someone's got to do the gum spit. We could yeah. do an advance and do the gum spit for, like, just the, the ring part of it. Yeah. I love how he points to his tiny little muscle. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> he was never fat. He's just got a gut and nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a real weird body shape. <laughs> He's All got, like... right. Well, can Diet Calcium take on Cocky in his debut? Here we go. <laughs> yeah, his forearms are basically as big as his Whoa. biceps by the looks of it. The big this? airplane's been a throwback from a throwback <laughs> kind of guy, a mounty build. <laughs> nice start for Firstborn. Yeah, Firstborn's first match. <laughs> calcium light. <laughs> Yeah, they do both wear beanie hats. That's true. And have that misshaven look of a guy who's birthed 14 kids. <laughs> yep, and black and yellow. <laughs> so yeah, yep. they're pretty... They're pretty close. I'm surprised you didn't you didn't do, like, red and white. Isn't that, like, mounty colors? Uh, no, I... Red, the, and, red and black? Is the mounty is... Yeah, the mounty is, is... That's what the mounty was like in double double E. He had black and yellow? Yep, on his on his tights, yeah. Oh weird. I guess that, oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay, now that I'm picturing it. Yeah. Alright, well the action spills outside of the ring. Firstborn all over cocky thus far. Sheila doing nothing but watching from the side there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see him like Hello Firstborn. What uh? What part of what part of Canada are you from? For Firstborn's social media manager. <laughs> Two failed stumps by Cocky there. That was. <laughs> yeah, but prepared. nice running bulldog to make up for it. Yeah. I don't know how Cocky manages to wrestle in his hat. It's it's an incredible feat of uh, <laughs> athleticism, yeah. isn't it? Oh, that's the that's the uh, that's the nice part, huh? On the West Coast. I've always wanted to go out there. Oh man, the Vader bomb! Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what. I literally don't know what moveset he's got. It's crazy. Isn't it? 
Uh, only gets a one count out of it. In fairness, a Vader bomb looking for a little bit more mass behind it than <laughs> Firstborn's got. Yeah. I wish uh, Canada would even let me in, it, you know, its borders at all right now, Tom Schnez. <laughs> It doesn't snow, it snows out there. Yeah, ready? <laughs> I don't remember the fa the fabulous Rougeos all that much, Ancy. Now, this is the first match physics. Uh, we did have an opening promo by Skirmetso, the man himself, accepting Tony plays poorly, uh, calling the shit wrestlers back into the fold, but asking Tony to put his belt on the line tonight against the shithead to Scotty. And it sounds like he is going to answer that call. So we have ourselves a championship main event. Could shit take another title from the JFW? Doesn't matter anymore because they said they're coming back into it. <laughs> oh, well, a, oh, yeah, fair enough. That's a great promo, Gorilla. Is this going to happen? It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to build too much uh, ex expectation that there's going to be more shit versus JFW when we're trying to move into new storylines. Fair enough. Yeah, nope. yeah you're no. on the pre-show wanker physics against Steve. If you want to watch that back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we. Who ended up winning that? Uh, who ended up winning that? I can't. No spoilers. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Oh, and look at this. The sharpshooter locked in. That's oh, Cocky's finisher. Be. Can Firstborn hang on? No, he cannot. That is a tough move to get locked into in the middle of the ring in your very first match. And uh, Firstborn has to think about his upcoming future and taps out of that one as Cocky. What's happening here? Looks like it's uh, bugged out. Okay. No, right. <laughs> it looked like it froze for a second there or it something. Did, didn't it? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, like I, I remember them, Ancy. Didn't they? Didn't they? Didn't they wrestle the Heart Foundation in a WrestleMania? I believe they they might have one of the earlier ones. I think they might have. Um, I mean that, that. To be fair, this was a tough match for his first match, wasn't it? First ball, and this was certainly uh, cock, cocky. Is a top super or not super top heavyweight competitor. Yeah. Yeah, that was asking a lot for a new guy to come in. And hang with Cocky. And next up, we've got oh! the open challenge from Flicky Flack and Le Bread Mask, plain white toast. Can any tag team in the JFW possibly take them on? Interesting stuff. Yeah, the plain white toast has been dominant in this big man, little man challenge. So they're opening up the door saying, uh, somebody else, come give us some competition. Who is going to answer that call should be a wild one. <laughs> Plain white toast. <laughs> oh, dear. And we've got a lovely loading screen here for 10 hours. That's why you've got the, uh, <laughs> sta the snazzy stand firm graphic. I craft yeah, it. well, I almost spoiled it because when I watch your stream, I don't see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but, but you cut me off at just the right time from spoiling the surprise. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's a, it must be like... All Canada Day or something. Here comes <laughs> Le Bread Mask and his tag team partner, Flicky Flack. <laughs> there is Flicky Flack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, le plim plom plou. 
Yeah, Flicky does look super happy, doesn't he? Yeah, and see, he overcompensates, uh, you know, trying to get that personality out. And at least he's got the music to hype him up this time. Should take notes on that. He should. And who will they be facing? Oh, <laughs> well, when the lights shift, you know what that means. Oh, Here he comes right back out to the ring. Skuramezzo wants to get his fighting on tonight. Was not done with the in-ring promo. But who's he going to bring with him? A little man to be his tag partner. <laughs> Tom Schniz starting the uh, trash talk a bit prematurely. Who could it be? I'm going to wager Skuro's bringing a friend from shit. So, yeah, let's go through how many plim plum loserweights shit's got. And I think that narrows down the list greatly. It does indeed. We just gotta wait through like four more fireworks displays to find out. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Uh, Scrumets will change his entrance a little bit. I'll, I'll tell you why afterwards. <laughs> I uh, I don't really care. Good. <laughs> no, no, I don't really care what you would mind. Is what I mean. All right. <laughs> 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 He's got his white belt back on. <laughs> Well, yeah, he sure does. Took it off for the pay-per-views, went right back to it for this. Maybe uh, he's a little superstitious. Didn't get the win in the black belt. <laughs> oh, it's not Geeks Wargaming. It's Muppet <laughs> Pac-Man. <laughs> you had about a coin flip to decide on that one. But there he is, your Plim Plum Loserweight Champion, Muppet Pac-Man. And that is a formidable force, but, uh, you know, Skuro, not really a tag team specialist. Muppet uh, has a bit more experience in his former run with the Unnatural Snackers. But well, let's see how these two can bring it together against the very established and very successful Plain White Toast. We're starting with the big men in the ring. Absolutely. Now, now Flicky turns. Flack, one part of that winning effort on Sunday over Skuro's shit team. And he's right back to beating up on Skuro with that nice fallaway slam. Mm -hmm. And here you go, the quick tag to Tom mm -hmm. Schniz. Showing that experience. Oh, no, but he gets run over by the bigger man. Even though Just he's got about. like four inches on him. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, sorry, I couldn't resist. That was so funny, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Going for the knees. Always a good I like may I like mayo on chips physics. <laughs> That's more of a, I thought that was the French thing more than a British thing. Yeah, Europeans like to eat mayo and chips. Uh, yeah, like like a Holland really into that I think too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's it's mostly Europeans. It, British people like uh, like tend to not like mayo. Yeah, Dutch. Yeah. Although I will say I fucking love malt vinegar on chips too. Not a thing Americans do frequently, and I I, I absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah, ketchup or salt and vinegar or gravy. Yeah. <laughs> Curry sauce too. Curry sauce I really like too. Yeah, but that's yeah, not a thing Americans good. do. That's good. <laughs> I mean it's certainly not very healthy physics, but if you're eating French fries you're probably you know <laughs> you're already off the health food train. <laughs> Oh, the super kicked him up, and now this would be interesting. You've got to know, LeBred Mask would love to show some dominance over Muppet Pac-Man. He's got to be one of the top guys for a one-on-one -on -one shot 
at that championship. He has performed so well the last few months in Plim Plum Plusaway action and tagging with Flicky Flack. All he needs now is a one-on-one -on -one shot against Muppet, and he could be the very first two-time Plim Plum Plusaway champion. This is incredible, isn't it, from from uh, the Fred Mask right now? Absolutely, he has turned it on. Couldn't it? Oh, that would be fall? a little lame, but yeah, it could happen. Why Looks like he's going to put him in the ring. For ages? No, he's not. Oh, no. I think one of them went on the apron briefly, uh, and he reset. And also, they pause at four and eight for some reason. Uh, they pause for like a like three extra seconds. <laughs> oh, God. Brutal. Oh no, physics! Like yeah, like chips, chips, British chips. So French fries to America. Wait, I thought you were British. Oh, chips! Yeah. Oh yeah, chips, not potato chips. No, oh, yeah. Wait, chips. when was when when did Muppet Muppet was already a Plum Plum Pluser a champion? Oh, I can't remember. I thought it went from. I think I could do it. I thought it went from. Uh, Le Bread Mask GFK. to uh, to GFK, who had it forever. Yeah. And then GFK to Just Joe. Oh, that's right. That's right. Muppet won it and mm. then lost it, and then, then he got fired. Of course. Oh, apologies. Mm. Muppet Pac-Man. Absolutely mm. correct. Yep, yep. Two-timer mm. there. Fair enough. Mm. Yeah, we should have a Fair website enough. with everything on, shouldn't we? Yeah, title tracking. Yeah, that was such a short reign because of the screw job by Mighty AF in that case. Yeah, I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, boy. Uh, okay, physics, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, chips. That was like what happened with Zenai's dad because he was like, <laughs> you eat well, fish and chips? <laughs> so if, you grew up, if you grew up in Florida, does that mean that telling you tomato sauce goes on pizza and not ketchup is, uh, is like mind-blowing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he, he thought like he thought we had fish and potatoes. Oh, Skuro, Skuro, oh! looking to fly! Oh, oh, yeah, and he sure does, canning balling over the top rope there and laying out Flicky Flack. Nice move by Skuro. Incredible. And he took one hell of a pummeling before finally getting eliminated. Probably about four. Four stunners. <laughs> he was about as bloodied as you can possibly get. He was. Oh, and another Vader bomb. We're seeing a lot of Vader bombs tonight. Yeah. And um. now, looking to close this out, pop a power bomb. But, you know, LeBred Mask is so good at getting in and breaking up these tags. Yeah. Or pins, he's got, excuse he's me. He's got Muppet to deal with now, hasn't he? Sure does. Oh, no, looks no, like he's no. not even going to try. Has a lot of confidence. <laughs> and he shouldn't have. <laughs> and Skuro gets the easy pin. He must have thought for sure Flicky was going to kick out of that. And what a win for the shithead Skuro Mezzo and your Plim Plum Pluserweight champion, Muppet Pac-Man Dominant. Wow. Of course he wouldn't kick out. Has anyone ever kicked out of a freaking pop up <laughs> Oh dear! Oh, not that well, was. Cool. A lot of people. I mean, I mean, if you were watching on Sunday night, a lot of people picked, kicked out of pop up power bombs, but a lot of those people were Tony Place porn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tony almost doesn't count as human at this point. <laughs> right. No, oh, baby, and now the unnatural snackers in their quest for tag team relevance if they even want it they have had so many missteps as of late j5 really looked like he was boiling over once again with satterfield but they've got norse country in their way can norse country show up and get the big win to further derail the snackers or will the snackers be able to get back on track again yeah that's the question on everyone's lips <laughs> yep. <laughs> also, are we looking at more of Plovatch's O face over there? <laughs> it sure looks like it. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, we could be looking at all four of their O faces. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I like to think that's Satterfield's. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Satterfield's just biting his lip and hoping to finish before he doesn't, before he loses his erection. J five, J five, just like screaming in the face of his wife, and then. Uh, I don't know. Oh, well, it looks like it looks like uh, <laughs> it looks like it looks like we know what the horns on the helmets are for when you look over at uh, a <laughs> space cadet. Oh boy, amazing! <laughs> oh dear, <Flug. laughs> yeah. I mean, we all we all assume that. He has once before described his lovemaking similar to the troll piling on <laughs> animation from World Bowl 2. So. Yes. Yes. Well, we just heard this music, but here it is again. The unnatural snackers mm -hmm. tossing out some carbs to the audience. Looking happy thus far, but will it last? Yeah, probably should have given Muppet different music when he was in shit, but never mind. <laughs> nah. Who cares? It's like the one good song anyone has other than Thaw's entrance. Yeah. Beefcakes are too often. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, no allergy would be horrible, wouldn't it? Proper, proper dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, some of them can be certainly. I, I um, I have this weird thing uh, where I don't. Uh, I, I mean, I do. I understand, and I do. So I'm going to preface that by saying that I absolutely understand science and believe in science. But I have no concept of an allergy because I don't have allergies of any kind. So when people are like, "I'm allergic to pollen," and I'm just like. So you just don't like being outdoors and you're complaining about it, right? <laughs> like, like, like it makes no sense to me. The closest the closest thing I have to understanding allergies is that I'm one of those people that tastes cilantro as soap and it grosses me out. <laughs> yes. So I'm very I'm very frequently I slip often. Uh, in my ability to be empathetic for people's uh, allergies. <laughs> Fair enough. I have loads of allergies. I have allergies! But thankfully not. So, it one. sounds to me like you're just a bitch, Jim. Yep. That is certainly <laughs> the impression it gives, isn't it? Well, and that's the thing is, like, I don't know. It's like how many of the, like, especially, like, the nature-based allergies were just from people who didn't, you know, spend their time eating fucking dirt. <laughs> and running around in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. I, I've, I nearly died once uh, in Scotland. From like, I've got asthma and I was uh, like the fucking my parents like you know I was just a little boy and my pet like my parents had like got you know a, a fucking some some place where we were staying and it had feathers in the in the in the bed and uh, yeah I was like, oh, in Scotland and everything. Oh, interesting. My parents told me that I was allergic to, I think, sulfur or something like that, and said that the only way I'd really ever come into contact with it was if I smoked, so not to smoke. And they both died before I could get them to clarify if they just lied to me to make sure I never smoked. <laughs> but then I started, like, chain smoking in my mid-20s for a couple years, and I'm still here. So <laughs> I st I've stopped since. I only smoked for a very short period of time at a not great point in my life. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. So I'm pretty sure they were just lying to me about it, but... And here we go, more tag team action. Can uh, can Norse Country overcome the massive size dif size difference in this match, and really experience difference? Uh, the Snackers have been in a lot of matches in the last few months. Norse Country lucky to get on TV. Yep. For our millions of fans watching worldwide, <laughs> and our twenty five fans watching in the audience. <laughs> 25,000 in the arena. <laughs> yeah. Never going to change that. <laughs> it works pretty well for the size of an arena. To be fair. 
and the millions and millions of the JFW fans all around the world. <laughs> um, and fans of Space Cadet as well. Here he is. <laughs> Being well, a lucky bastard. Those fans are, are rewarded early as Space Cadet taking early dominance over J5, dumping him out of the ring. Oh, no, the quick. <laughs> oh, look at that. What a counter. Able to catch all that weight and backbreak him. Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Almost it's... ten paying attention, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Four of which are probably bots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, J five in dangerous count out trouble here. I don't know, I'm sure get affiliated now is definitely a, a real big fan of wrestling. <laughs> Let's do this streamer. <laughs> Let's do this, streamers. Yeah. Eight let's... count now. <laughs> oh, and oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to hesitate for a second there. If he had hit more of Plovatch there, it was all over. Oh, beautiful neck breaker, though. <laughs> there is not a down and tackle one. He should have a shadowing move, shouldn't he? Really, but uh, <laughs> he doesn't. He just has the space cadet march. That's his. That's his most famous maneuver. Bam. He's got the. He's got the Norse pile on elbow drop, which is quite good. As does more Plovac. <laughs> yep. And more Plovac again. Another one of those uh, neck breakers there. Nice move. Don't see that often out of them. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Bezel. <laughs> indeed. <laughs> oh, the thigh breaker there. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing his balls on the back of J5's neck while elbowing him. Okay, uh, I guess he, uh, you know, that, that that that's what J5 normally calls a good time, but that didn't look <laughs> like he was enjoying it. <laughs> well, he's hard to read. <laughs> <laughs> and now it looks like J5 looking for the tag to Satterfield here, and he gets it. Good tag in so far, working like a, uh, I won't say well-oiled machine, but the two of them are acting uh, accordingly in the tag match. Yeah. We should have a Goliath and Fault Force uh, tag team and call them the, the well-oiled machine. <laughs> 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 How old is that I? Let's do this. And Satterfield in now, applying that headlock, rolls off of him and looking to uh, stomp right on top. It just, you know, again... Don't look at Satterfield's feet, but he knows how to use them. <laughs> All of his moves basically uh, designed around kicks and uh, stomps. Yeah. Oh. Brutal. What a maneuver. <laughs> exactly. It is smaller feet. Concentrate that force. <laughs> yeah, and they're uh, very aerodynamic for getting up to speed for his snack mask finisher. <laughs> yeah. Well remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Four count by the ref here. Satterfield, no signs of relenting. Oh, but Moro Plovach, nice counter to get in charge, getting him back in the ring. Action's going to continue in the squared circle. <laughs> Maybe, or more Plovac will just chastise him. <laughs> oh, really beating on him. They were brutal looking kicks. Yeah. And now Plovac going to tag uh, Space Cadet in as Satterfield crawling for the hot tag, gets it to J5, and J5 runs right through with a little bit of a diversion there <laughs> in uh, Space Cadet. But Space able to manage him, spears oh him God. in the corner. Spears are we about to see it? Helmet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We, are we going to see that, uh, that uh, Space Cadet march? Not yet. <laughs> Dude, we'll Here we go, the space uh, There it is. Sets it up. 
marches across the ring and coming right back in for that lariat. And boom, gets him. <laughs> Will he go up top to complete that? No, he doesn't. Him crawling to the middle. Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, boy. Here comes the elbow drop, I think. Yep. Woo. And he nails it. We've been seeing more Plovac pulling those off more than Space Cadet recently. But he got it there. And here's the pinfall. Satterfield right there to come in and break it up. Yes. Yeah, with ease. <laughs> more Plovac uh, lets him just gently step back out of the ring there with no recourse. Yeah. Both North Country unable to lay a finger on Satterfield there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, again, the speared or those horns speared right into J5. Ooh, nice running knee. Might have knocked him out there for a second. Wait. And a standing senton to boot. Excuse me, moonsault. Yeah, incredible. Oh, and here's the shake, oh. rattle, and roll. Yep, this is always a sign of bad things to come. <laughs> but it looked pretty good there. And the helmeted jawbreaker, space back to his feet. J5, though, stand right on him, getting him into that friendly corner. And quick tag time. into Satterfield. And look at this. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. Bust him Big open. boot. Bust him open. <laughs> Went right through the helmet on that one. Oh, is this, is this the snack mass? It is the snack mass. And he does hit it. Will J5 cover this pinfall? Doesn't look like it. He was busy. Not even close. J5 was, yeah. Oh, but here we go. More Plovac's going to pay for it, but he did save the match. <laughs> oh, he tries and goes up spear <laughs> one too many times. Bounces Satterfield off Satterfield. <laughs> oh, oh, that's got to hurt. Yep. God, that would really hurt, wouldn't it? Some people say that uh, JFW is isn't real, but that would re there's no way you can't you can't uh, fake <laughs> you can't teach somebody how to be jumped on. <laughs> uh, you kind of can actually the way they do that. It's interesting, but yeah, I still wouldn't want Satterfield doing it to me. <laughs> no fucking right. <laughs> Oh, look at this maneuver. Oh, he gets the knees up right into the spine. <laughs> it did not have the effect that either of the Snackers wanted. What a comeback by Space Cadet. Yeah. Yeah, it's still real to me, goddammit. Goddammit. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh and it, top man. rope Johnny. Here we go. <laughs> oh, he misses with the dive attack. Oh, no. J5 coming up empty. Oh, boy. And Space making him pay. Not looking good for the Snackers now. That's nice. Another, another Space Cadet match. Yep. Yep. <laughs> More Plovac hasn't had much to do this match, but uh, hey, if Space is going to carry it. <laughs> And now going up for a second elbow drop onto J5. Nope, not an elbow drop. Ooh. Beautiful moonsault. Sticks the landing. Showing top rope Johnny, who's the high flyer. And here's the pinfall. Sabaton More gets in there. Oh, oh, and kicks oh. Them both Satterfield just kicked both of them. <laughs> kicked through both of Norse Country <laughs> with those huge, huge thighs and those tiny, tiny feet. <laughs> Took out everyone practically. That was amazing. And now J5 crawling to the wrong corner here. Needs <laughs> to get a pin. Needs to get the pin or the tag. Oh, yeah. He saw yeah. the pin now. He might have it. He might. Oh. Oh. If he had been a second sooner, he would have had the win there. But this match is going to continue. <laughs> that was a hell of a kick. What, what a way to clear the ring, Satterfield. These spears are just too brutal, aren't they, with a horn helmet? Yeah, they really are. <laughs> oh, beautiful maneuver. Not going totally crazy, though, sadly. Hello. 
lovely. Lovely suplex back into the ring. There's his comeback sequence. And now he's going up top. And what's he going to do here? He's going to get countered by more Plover. No more Plover. Completely ignores him. Oh, oh and he finds the knees. I mean, that's still going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he went for the door. pin there. Yep. He, saw, he finished him off with that. And then the oh wow, and the more Plovac gets leveled. <laughs> what a win by the Snackers! I thought J Five got countered there, but it looks like uh, looks like the knees did not connect. And now they are all hugs in this one. <laughs> oh well, maybe they've mended their uh, issues here. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, you know, winning it is the best is medicine. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. All right. I can't remember what's next. I'll be honest. Oh, I think it's the debut. It's the debut of Crispy Ice versus Moradam. No oh, boy, another debut. Looks like we got some sort of uh, some sort of uh, like I don't know, samurai warrior of some kind tell us a little bit about crispy ice jim yeah he's uh, he's called crispy ice and uh, he was trained by Callisto, um and yeah he's a bit of like an injury type dude he's got some face paint and that he's got he's got you know some things on him he's like japanese crazy wrestler dude there you go fair and enough done, likes eating people's balls You probably shouldn't do any promos with crispy eyes. <laughs> is he good at us? This is his debut. <laughs> We're gonna find out, but it's a, certainly a test, isn't it? He likes to wank as well. That's why he likes to shake his hand there a bit. <laughs> It's weird the handshaking, isn't it? I don't really understand that. Yeah, no shit, Nancy. <laughs> the question is, does he leave the swords on to wrestle? No, he doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's very dangerous, that moves. <laughs> yeah. Is he uh, trained by Ricochet? Nah, uh, semi. Semi. He, his, the, Ricochet taught him his attributes and Kalisto taught him his moves. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, a high flyer, always fun, but here comes one of the preeminent Plim Plum Pluser weights himself, Mordam. Almost got his hands on the gold. We're looking to come in and shear Crispy's ice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I gotta carefully let a dog in now. Crispy bacon. I knew someone called Crispy Dick. <laughs> no, no, honestly, his name was Christopher. Like, P was his middle name and Dick was his surname. And it was great, he would just to say. He would just say, uh, he, he, he was like really good at magic. Uh, sorry. Um. All right, and here we go. The literal fucking goblin against the, uh, that thing. Yeah, he's like a wrestler. <laughs> he sure is. <laughs> Face painted uh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does have a little bit of Matt Storm in him, doesn't he? 
And I mean, you know, I don't know. You can't have everybody <laughs> look completely crazy, can you? No, certainly not. Hey, you know where I stand on this. I'm mm -hmm. uh, of the two men in the ring right now. There's one I respect the appearance of a lot more than the other. <laughs> oh, yeah, the original one. But then he'd need his back his old his old gear and that, wouldn't it? I oh, like a stick count, and he hits the corner. This could be dangerous. We've seen this in matches before, <laughs> Jim. We have. Oh God. Uh, oh no. Oh, here's that delay in the count. <laughs> and now we're probably going in the ring. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and the nine count, they get back in the ring. Crispy Ice off to a pretty good start. Yeah. But we know how quickly Mordam can uh, turn the tides in any match. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, he just needs what he just needs con to connect with one laser-guided uh, testicular claw or uh, ball shot, and it's all over. <laughs> exactly, it does not take much. <laughs> she never requested him before. Either. I think he looks quite good on the entrance, doesn't he? Though I quite like the entrance. Yeah, no, he looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and right back out of the ring and working him over some more. Uh, was expecting a little bit more high flying, if I'm going to be completely honest, out of these two. But they're yeah. just, uh, this is a very physical competition either way. You know Crispy really wants to start off with a win here. We see it so many times. Nice debut, spoiled by the by the bigger experience. And uh, that could be the fate that uh, Mordam has planned for Crispy Ice. But he's doing everything right thus far, so we'll see. Yep. What a maneuver. Oh, and here it comes, I bet. No, I thought I thought we were for sure we were getting the testicular claw. <laughs> oh, he's straight back up. Oh, nice Good running drop face. kick there. <laughs> oh, well, misstep no there, and Mordam able to get back in the ring. <laughs> Bad time to do your fucking ninja kata, <laughs> and that's why there is the testicular claw. <laughs> A rookie mistake there. Absolute rookie mistake. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> nope. Going a bit wrong here. That was nice, uh, yeah, nice little leg drop there over the top rope. And certainly executing wrestling moves in this wrestling match. Got a solid two count out of that, but he's gonna have to put him away here. And, uh,. I think we're going to need a bigger move, and we might just be about oh, to yeah. see it. What is it, the Selena Del Sol Forum? No idea. Nope. Yeah, yep. Selena Del Sol, I believe. Into the mm. pinfall. This could be it. It is. Oh, and look at that crispy ice. A near flawless victory. The only thing he has to write home about are his uh, testicles getting a mild squeeze. But, uh, <laughs> you know, when you... When you're down in Fort, Ware, or Fort Worth, Texas, where tonight's show is happening, you expect a little bit of a mild squeeze on your balls. <laughs> yep. <sighs> so yeah, no cocky. Unfortunately, Mordom couldn't get the couldn't get yeah. the job done. Well, cock and ball torture, looking to welcome two people to the JFW. Cocky successful, Mordom more damn not successful there. But two good matches. Welcome aboard. Crispy Ice. Uh, cri crisp, crispy Ice. <laughs> <laughs> May your name not be forgotten. Yeah, again. Right, next up, we've got a clash of the titans between Crusher 
and Marcel McDaniels. Oh, baby, I cannot wait for this one. Marcel McDaniels, a fan favorite. Crusher, a fucking Minotaur. It's going to be one hell of a match coming up next. Yeah. Oh, but what's this? Uh, we've just got word that there's something kicking off backstage. We're going to have to go there instead. Oh, some we got we got a brawl breaking out backstage, and that's and oh look at that! It's table leg wanger and his former best friend Jimmy Min Max. Uh, sorry, Jimmy <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, hey, and they uh, they got into a little bit on Monday Claw, and Jimmy came out after the ambush by Table Leg and was able to still win that match, but it canceled the main event title match that was set to take place between Jimmy Fantastic and your Extra Arms Belt champion, Ardvac. Both these men have held the Extra Arms Belt and are looking to get right back in there. Yep. That looks like LeBred Mask getting interviewed, doesn't it? Sure does, and then why wouldn't he? Uh, has to answer for uh, that dominant performance by his uh, opponents uh, losing to Skirmetso and Muppet Pac-Man earlier tonight in the Big Man Little Man Challenge. Maybe having words here for his future. Water wings. They're just they're just elbow pads. People have elbow pads. Wrestlers have elbow pads. <laughs> If anything, they don't even look very padded. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh what a man. Oh, Jimmy dominating Wanger right now. But hey, look, uh, they're, they're looming in the background is that electrical panel. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen that on Jimmy's before. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty realistic difference in size to be honest between <laughs> <laughs> between Jimmy and <laughs> oh, <dude>. <laughs> <laughs> and these former best friends are seemingly going to war with each other right now um, all this stemming back to the screw job by Table Leg Wanger while Jimmy was uh, recovering after a savage attack backstage, mind you, by Tarsus. Yeah, that's another over one the summer. That, he's, that he's got a beef with. But right now, more directly is Wanger, isn't it? This issue of best friends, tag team partners, and then assaulted in his hospital bed. Disgusting. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Swing and a miss by Jimmy there, but uh, yeah, I don't think this simple brawl backstage is going to be the uh, conclusive uh, finishing point for this. Jimmy can win all the matches over Table Leg he wants. Table Leg's the kind of guy that's just going to keep bringing the hurt, but uh, that's not to say that Jimmy is anywhere near winning this match thus far. <laughs> no, he's certainly not. Hello, Flicky Flack. And, uh, look Hello, at that. Got... Flicky. We've got trending number one worldwide on Twitter, Jimmy the hashtag Jimmy the People's Champ. Oh yeah, the savior of the JFW, <laughs> making his glorious return to beat off the shitheads. <laughs> oh, and look at this Wanger, maybe oh, looking for that super kick. <sighs> oh, he nails him with it. Did he put him out? No, more Didn't damage to come here. Pretty surprising. Not very. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the first rock bottom that gets hit will knock out Wanger, though. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, look, uh, that lady, I can't remember her name, is just interviewing an invisible man now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cardboard cutout, Jim. you got to know that. Oh, now she's oh, running no. away. Oh, it's come to life. The cardboard cutout has come to life. <laughs> Oh, Renee, dear. that's the one. Renee was just it was just <laughs> interviewing in the Invisible Man. Amazing. And see, I, I I think it might. We're gonna have to probably bump that match for time, but we will definitely rebook it for the future. Stay tuned. We will find a chance for Crusher and Marcel to dance in the squared circle. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, oh God, oh, love your skirt. <laughs> yeah, it looked like his skirt almost fell off for a second. Yeah, like. you should be so lucky. <laughs> and she was interviewing the bread mask earlier and now she's probably f gone back there to find dean ambrose <laughs> yeah he's also gonna run like a bitch for some reason <laughs> oh god oh, what a maneuver. spine buster huge spine buster oh and a vicious knee 
Oh yeah, look at them muscles, oh baby. Got a beautiful physique, hasn't he, Jimmy Fantastic? Oh, and he here here it comes. Yeah. The classic, the Min Max Tastic itself. <laughs> oh, yep. oh, baby. Yep. Oh, yeah. No one no one didn't see that oh, one coming. <laughs> <laughs> Glory. Ignore the finisher, hit yours, and win. Welcome back, Jimmy Fantastic. Yes, a wonderful result. And now we've got the main event, haven't we? Which we can sure confirm do. as Tony Plays Poorly versus Descotti for the JFW World Championship. What a title match for your main event on Stand Firm. Shithead to Scotty, the lone standing shithead at the end of Survivor Series on Sunday, was not able to overcome the three other men in the ring. No surprises there. Tony Plays Poorly was one of them. The man we just saw win backstage, Jimmy Fantastic, scored the pinfall, and also Flicky Flack was there. And to Scotty getting a shot, Negotiated by Scurametso as part of this uh, this uh, this realignment of the JFW and shit to bring everyone back into the fold. Yeah, yeah, very interesting. I mean, this should be bread and butter match for Tony plays poorly, but you know anything can happen. It's not predetermined. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one, this one is running live like they all do, but uh, it's predetermined in that uh, fifty percent of the match is Tony plays poorly. <laughs> it's just it, it's as predetermined as uh, the first rock bottom to hit would instantly end. It's about the as predetermined as Calcium Cans versus a fourteen-year-old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, we were robbed of this entrance on Sunday night in the pay-per-view. But the big lights are here, and Descotti is going to dance his way, possibly, to championship gold. Wouldn't that be something? Yep, it would be incredible. Oh, Flicky Flag, not liking the shithead, getting to leap over him <laughs> up that chain of command. But, hey, you got to win those basic matches, and you lost earlier tonight with, with plain white toast, falling to Scaramezzo and Muppet Pac-Man in a big man, little man challenge. Yeah, taking off his invisible glasses. <laughs> oh, this is a feat right here, this maneuver. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that is some hip flexibility for the big man. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, dude, incredible. <laughs> Not legit, my ass. <laughs> you got beat, son. How you respond is on you. <laughs> All right, well, a hell of an entrance by Descotti. But, folks, here comes your world heavyweight champion, the acting general manager of the JFW, Tony Plays Poorly. Yeah, you're going a bit wrong there, a bit of, like, uh, crackly. I don't know what's happening, Gorilla, but I don't know if you can fix it. But, yeah, it was Physics did make his debut last week against uh, Jaws's. For fuck's and, uh, sake, Tony! You know we've got Stop a lot of wrestlers shit. now. Uh, really, what we need to do is not have this uh, this this weight split is constrictive, isn't it? So we need to, uh, you know, we need to see what's happening. Really, maybe yeah, the shitheads can exert some influence and get it changed up. I gotta believe that is on the docket as things are going here. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, I know, I know, uh, I know. Shit, shit, never. Uh, never preached the value of uh, weight classes the way they structured their tournament and uh by all accounts it was the greatest success in wrestling history so yeah. i gotta believe they're gonna want to take some of that influence into the jfw as well but we'll see how things shape up in the coming uh weeks yep. yeah i don't know i think it's i think it's just discord that's fucking with me everything else should be good okay father school <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't really know <laughs> do I still sound I still sound all fucked up? Yeah, it like goes yeah yeah it's pretty fucked up. Alright, how about now if I turn maybe my gains up a little bit? That's worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's not it's not on my end, I think it's Discord. Yeah. Oh well, Ripperoni. <laughs> She'll try to uh 
I'll try just turning you down and that might... Oh, he's, he's left. Maybe he's going to come back and... Uh, come back and... Introducing the something. champion from Huntsville, Alabama, weighing in I tell you what, I'll quit. And see if it's on my end as well. He is the world champion, Big Mac Tony. Anyway, here's Big Match Tony. The, uh, the face of the JFW, the man who created the JFW. The man we've all got to thank for the JFW. It is amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's done and <and> done. <laughs> Shit, God. All right. I am back now. Hopefully that's better. It's uh, still not great. No, it's not great. I don't really know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, right. I turned you down. It seems to be like when you're louder that it's worse, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, it could just be my audio level speaking, but they're but they're not by any metric that I can, you know, um, watch. So I, I really don't know what it is. Weird. Right. Anyway, it would just be a bit robotic. It's not the end of the world, is it? <laughs> no, I guess not. Here, I can even sit back further from my mic. I don't think that's going to help anything, though. No, I don't think it does. No. And now, uh, does Scotty actually looking like a big guy for once? Normally, uh, he's up against monsters like <laughs> Goliath and Crusher, and he, <laughs> he hasn't looked very big. But now against Tony, he looks pretty massive. <laughs> Secret to Scotty's power, Greg's. <laughs> Oh, man. Descotti off to a hot start thus far. Oh, oh look at that. Brutal. Look at that maneuver. Spike pile driver there. Do you know what? I went, I went to a, on a stag do with some Irish chaps, like an Irish family. And the dad was just obsessed with KFC. It was brilliant. Steak and KFC. The only thing you wanted was to find a pub that served steak and then go somewhere with KFC. And he's like, I've got Kentucky there. <laughs> and he's gone. He just had to get the Kentucky. Oh, it was brilliant. I know that's pointless, but um, it just it reminded me saying that he was powered by Greg's and KFC. Oh, look at that rock bottom. Oh. The yeah, it's a Uranagi, I think. Oh, Maybe. Uranagi. Yeah. Say your bad joke. Unagi. There you go. <laughs> oh, he's going for the dreaded shoulder massage. Yeah, absolutely. That'll take it out of you for sure. But Descotti able to sweep the leg and look at oh, this, Descotti. So dominant right now. Oh boy, are we gonna see him Think more? Oh no, Tony Elvis out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all knew that was gonna happen. Oh, oh but he only gets the two count. My oh god. P Tony. Oh my god. That was incredible. <laughs> Is this it? No, he can't it's it. It's the stunner. Yeah. <laughs> I thought for sure Descotti had a chance there, and then that chance went away, but amazing he kicked out at all. Yeah, I mean, Tony has basically got zero offense in the entire match, so it was asking a lot for a start to end it there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> KFC the worst. I don't know. I, yeah, because it, it, it's like batter on it, I think it's... Pretty, uh, oh, I fucking can't stand KFC. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. So. McDonald's, I have a McFlurry. And that's it. I, I mean, I guess I don't really like any fast food so much. Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I, bur a Burger King burgers I can eat sometimes. But that, I'd go to a Wendy's if I had to pick a, a fast food place to eat at. But, like, I don't really eat it anymore. So would McNaughton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure McNaughton eats uh, Wendy's far more than I do. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hooking the rope, too, for this one. Into oh, the boy. power bomb. <laughs> Monster move. What? <laughs> oh, now he's really feeling it. I think that could be a mistake, though. When you get Tony on the ropes, you got to keep on him. Whoa! Oh, this guy, and speaking of the ropes, this guy he almost went through him there. <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, it's the three and amigos. The triple suplex. Oh man, this could be it. The three amigos, also known as Greg's Brown Ale and uh, Stutty Cake. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the vicious knee stomp. We've seen that in matches before, folks. Uh, Wawa is a uh, it's a chain in like the mid Atlantic area, uh, mid Atlantic coast area. So like New Jersey, Delaware, Philly. Oh, I think this is his finisher. This is his finisher. Yeah, I think he might hit it this time. He does. Look at this. Package pile driver. Is this it for Tony? It Plays could poorly. Be. It genuinely could, could not. Be. Cannot imagine him not kicking out here. Yeah, all sorts of stuff. Oh. No, he kicked out. Unbelievable. It's more like um, I, I, I've never actually been to one. They don't have them up where I am. Uh, I'm a little more north of that area. Um, but it's more like a convenience store. It's kind of like going to a, like a gas station in the UK that serves sandwiches. <laughs> that makes sense. Like a convenience store that serves sandwiches. But, like, you guys have good box sandwiches at gas stations. You would never eat a box sandwich in the U.S. <laughs> and a two-count kick out to Scotty, bleeding from the forehead now. But Tony had to endure that package pile driver. Oh well, never mind. It's over. I think this is it over now. Yeah. Oh, right. I keep forgetting that physics. <laughs> um, this has got to be it. Yeah. What? <laughs> wow! Last second kick out. I mean, this was why Descotti was the last, the last shithead standing in the, uh, in the Survivor Series match, I guess. Well, I mean, he that? barely got tagged in, and Skuro got beat on for about twenty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was just Six amazing resilience. Well, come on. <laughs> 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 I'm not even. A but shit. yeah, no. He, I mean, he 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 performed well and uh, has a shot here to stun the world. Now, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> but I think the longer this match goes on, the more it favors, favors Tony plays poorly. Absolutely, Tony has that inevitability factor. He's a hell of an athlete. He only gives up sometimes. <laughs> uh, all of them except Web Dope, if you count that Muppet. Oh boy, is he is he is he gonna do a move? This is high risk. This is unlike Tony. Leg drop, this, isn't leg it? drop, maybe? No, not doing the leg drop. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a well, as uh, as low risk, high risk as you can get. Descotti rolling out of the ring. Smart move by him. Tony, him Tony, yeah, he, he, Tony flummoxed by this this uh, strategy of Descotti's, <laughs> and it paid off dividends. Descotti has a shot here, turning it on. Look at this. Oh, man. This is ridiculous. What a match this has turned into. Looked like a throwaway main event, an easy defense for Tony, but uh, absolutely, Descotti has certainly turned up tonight. Descotti has, and we are getting close to the end here. And uh, uh oh, there's some at my door. Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh God, no. <laughs> Tony trying to do a stunner, even though even though Descotti was on the other side of the ropes. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, really cementing to Scotty up in the, you know, holding his own, isn't he, against the top boy in the company. Oh, brutal. We even got sound effects from Gorilla's right. Mike for that move. <laughs> and this match, this has been an epic marathon of a match right now. Really Six has. count, Scotty throwing him back in. He knows he can't win that title outside of the ring. And he's just so emotional right now. Really think, needs to put all that emotion into Tony. I mean, although you say that, Skuro, I think you're overestimating the intelligence of an average Newcastle fan. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but there is the three amigos. 
<laughs> Second one, he's had six of them. And now the pinfall attempt here. <laughs> Two count kick out again. Whoa, I'm all good on you. Whoa. He's going to have to go to another package pile driver, and he knows it. Here we go. Can Tony escape this, or is this it for the champ? Oh, boy, it really oh could be. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The Scotty. The Scotty with the package pile driver. The pinfall. This could be Counter a wrap. He's done it. He did it. He <laughs> fucking did it. Oh, my God. The Scotty shocks the world. <laughs> Defeating Tony Blaze Morley and winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Wow. Unbelievable. Let's see him dance that one out. <laughs> Holy shit, I was not expecting that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> oh what my upset. goodness. And now shit has all of the belts. <laughs> shit has taken all the belts. Maybe Scarrow going to rethink that offer. <laughs> Unbelievable. Shit dominant again. Oh, to Scotty, the hero of the night. But hey, it's not about shit and JFW. It's about personal achievement. And to Scotty taking home the gold, beating the unbeatable Tony plays poorly in one hell of a match. Say what you will, maybe Tony wasn't prepared for that, didn't come into the show thinking he was defending his title. That's neither here nor there. Look at the smile on that big Jordy's face. <laughs> De Scotty is your new world heavyweight champion, and Jimmy Ventura, I think that's going to be it from Mon or Friday. Stand <laughs> firm. My name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me, and have a good weekend, everyone. Happy Halloween. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. For Don't forget sake, to leave a like. Stop being shit. Brilliant, Coggy. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>